Welcome to the WBC Arena, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. It's time for our tale of the tape, and here he is in the flesh. And here he is, Jew the Monster. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing in the red... And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Oh, what a punch! The courage on display here is incredible. Don't want to trade shots. There was so much hype surrounding this match, I wonder if it can actually live up to the hype. You can walk into an arena and be the hero. The pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans. You can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it off. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Todd. You've got to ignore them. Get on with your job. is coming right back. Good punch. That punch has been his best weapon all fight long. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little touch you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this. Defense failed them. Talk about Crawford in that last round. He is down big time on the score. The bell sometimes. It... And there's the bell to start the round. Scores with the counter. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. Looking to land the hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. The jab doesn't quite connect. He threw the hook, didn't land. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Crawford in that last round. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think. A 
ring the bell, and here we go. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Good counter punch. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You are fighting a swarmer. Be smart, be sharp, concentrate, but you've got to be confident. Do not dance his dance, because that swarmer, once you do that, you're giving a man a chance that shouldn't have one. Nice counter punch right up the middle. That jab misses. way through the round and I don't know who's got the advantage great stuff that punch has been his best weapon all fight long skill for skill tap for tap she's like a match made in heaven nice counter shot a lot of fans know how quick these lighter fighters can be but tonight don't be surprised if these don't pack a lot of power as well Both going for the KO. It's so obvious. It's bombs away. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The perfect counter lands. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Every second, every minute of this. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Well, with welterweights, they sometimes bring you the best of both worlds. Fast hands and power. It's the one who draws first blood touch. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Perfect counter lands. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. These two were made for each other. in there. Nice punch. You don't see a lot of welterweights that can bring you one-punch KO power, but these two can. I've never seen a fighter so fast in Are we about to see a first-round knockout? the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. the bell and here we go after that last round something has got to change they've had one minute to recover now they've got to bluff it they've got to bluff it they've got to come out now and style it out get on the back foot jab rest on the jab be smart and pop until your legs come back then put the pressure on that jab won't score It's all 
offense all the time. That hook won't score. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You can get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight divisions, they'll stand there. They don't need to move the They need a stone box. And they figure out the combination to this safe. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about Crawford in that last round. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Wow. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, by ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. And there's the bell to start the round. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Trying to land that jab. you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because somebody's going to get hurt and someone's got to react. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. They exchange punches. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. Talk about Crawford in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting in a kitchen sink. Slugfest. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off.
Here we go with the lightweights. Get ready to see some blazing hand speed and fancy footwork. So you're getting in there with something that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. That one lands. This fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. Back and forth they go. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Look at the hand speed and footwork between these two elite level middleweights. Energy and endurance are not an chance to make history. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. Talk about Crawford in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. And there's the bell to start the round. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff them. Nice slip to avoid the jab. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Oh my, that's a game. Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.